Hey guys, Buildzoid here, and today we're going to be doing something very different from what I normally do here with AHOC, taking a look at a pre-built, and I've realized that there's... Well, okay, that's that's not changing. There's not enough space on the desk for this, but yeah, um, we're taking a look at a pre-built, and you might be like, Buildzoid, why are we taking a look at a pre-built? Well, it's very, very simple. You see, I wanted a Ryzen 4750G, um, you know, 8-core APU with uh, Vega, yeah, Vega graphics, and most importantly, it's a Renoir APU, and Renoir has a new and improved and basically, based on what I've seen around the internet, an absolutely incredible memory controller. So basically, I wanted to buy a memory controller, and uh, because AMD decided that like they're not selling Renoir APUs retail uh, in the UK, the sort of you have two options. You can order one from China or you can buy a pre-built um, with an APU in it. Um, so this thing right here is the, is a, uh, is a, what's it called? Xenta? Zenta? I don't know. Anyway, let's flip it over. It says right there. So that's what it is. It's from eBuyer. It's, uh, it's actually a pre-built. It's not like, uh, eBuyer is a, a local e-retailer, so... Uh, it's not like, like, it's kind of like if you built, bought a, like, new egg system, if you're in the U.S. So, anyway, but it has a 4750G in it, and basically, the reason why I did, like, so one, I didn't want to go through the whole getting a 4750G all the way from the, the, from China. The other thing is, through eBay, because that just, sounds like a massive hassle and you don't know when it's going to show up and then it's going to get stuck in customs and it's like I don't want to deal with that. Uh the other thing was we might be able to overclock this. <laughs> so so that's the other reason. That that's basically the the other side of this that was like, you know what? What what if we tried to overclock something where I don't have full control of all the parts, right? Because this is an APU. So these are the APUs are great fun to overclock because Unlike uh, CPU over, like if you're overclocking memory on a regular CPU, basically the best memory tests you have are like IDA and Geekbench and maybe Intel Burn Test, right? Like there's some benchmarks that kind of scale with memory, but like most of them are kind of boring to look at and, and they kind of suck. Um, but the fun thing with APUs is like you can literally just run 3D Mark Firestrike on them, uh, which is the greatest benchmark ever made. Uh, <laughs> And, uh, since you can run through, and it scales with memory performance, like, a lot. Um, so, basically, I want to do some over, like, hopefully, depending on what motherboard's in there. Um, and the thing is, like, looking at the rear I.O. panel pictures on the internet, right? I keep forgetting that it has that front panel. But this, this right here is like, that That looks like Asus motherboard rear I.O., mostly because of those green USB ports. Like, I'm not aware of any other vendors doing that. Um, so, yeah, this is probably an Asus motherboard. So if it's like an A520 board, we can overclock. If it's a B450, we can overclock. If it's a B550, we can overclock. If it's literally anything, well, like, uh, unless the BIOS is like some special OEM stripped down version, we should be able to overclock. Um, and so that's the other, like, that's the only other reason that I had, like, where it was like, okay, you know what? It actually makes sense to go all the way for a pre-built. Um, and I went, like, I had the option to go with, like, a 4650G based pre-built, which would have been cheaper, and I would have still gotten the really nice memory controller, but it would have only come with one stick of memory. And if you're on an APU, having one stick of memory is like, it, it's like trying to, um, it's like, imagine having a car with two wheels and then trying to go forward, you know? It's like, yeah, it, it'll kind of do it. <laughs> Not very quickly, though. So similarly, like, because again, APUs, they're just super memory bottlenecked. So basically, you need dual channel memory. And so this, and they didn't offer a 4650G variant with uh, dual channel memory. So it was like, okay, well, 4750G, dual channel memory. Um, yeah, and that, that's how I ended up with this. So, it comes with an SSD and no operating system. Um, let's take a look inside. I've not turned it on yet, but already, like, peeking in through here, we can already see... Well, you can't really see it on camera, or I'm... Well, it doesn't look like you can see it on camera, but that, that heatsink down there says Asus, so... I was right. It, it does use an Asus motherboard, so hopefully it's like an A520... Like, it, hopefully it's like a normal motherboard. Also, we can... 
already kind of see that that's not a normal Ryzen heatsink, so... Yep. I'm not sure if I'm going to... You know what? When I overclock it, I'm probably going to overclock it without the side panel on. Okay, so that just comes off. And... B550M-K. So yeah, this can overclock. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> we can overclock. So the other thing... Um, um, eh, this isn't too bad. I've just realized that my audio... Like, the, the way I have the mic set up, this is really not working very well. But... Because I can't... Yeah, okay. I'm just going to hold the mic and stand up so I can actually see in there because this is sitting on the desk and oh my god you've got to be kidding me you have to be kidding me are you serious did yeah they they actually okay so does anybody notice a problem with how the memory sticks are installed because they put them all in in one memory channel and like the motherboard, I'm pretty sure the motherboard actually has it silk screened on that you're not supposed to do that. But yeah, so that's that's disappointing. Um, so the thing is, on one hand, it's like, well, the normies won't notice until, well, like, because here's the thing. You're literally cutting your memory bandwidth in half by doing that. And this memory isn't fast to start with. This is like Corsair value select 2400 megahertz. But if we're lucky, it's going to be on like, um, let's see. As long as it's not Samsung CDI or Hynix 8 gigabit AFR, we should be good. As in, if it's like DJR, it'll clock high. CJR, it'll clock high. Uh, what else is there? Samsung uh, DDI actually clocks stupid high. Um, it's really loose, but it clocks really high if it's Micron. Uh, I wonder if we'll actually be able to read off the memory chips. But yeah, um, the cable management, I don't really care. There's no real front intake, right? Like, this is all sealed off. Like, technically there's a fan mount down there, but... <laughs> where, where, where's the air gonna come in? Through the through the plastic? So, yeah, but I'm I'm super disappointed with how they installed the memory. Like, you are... Like, if somebody actually tried to play games on this, that's... 30%? 40%? Right there? And I'm not joking, like, doing this to your APU literally cuts your FPS by, like, at least 20%. Um, it's been a while since I've done APU, you know, like, I, like the thing is, I didn't even want to test single channel, because it was just like, if you're putting your, if you have an APU, and you run your memory single channel, you're an idiot. Um, but yeah, this, this is really bad, so... Not a fan of the cables being in the way of getting at the memory sticks because I can't fix what they screwed up. Um, other than that, I'm not really sure. How does the heatsink? Oh, the heatsink just kind of. Okay, so it just uses the stock mounting hardware. So I guess there's some kind of clip mechanism um, that I'll deal with when I eventually want to pull the CPU out. Have a Wi Fi card added in. Um, but yeah, so we should be. Like, it's this is a normal B550 Asus motherboard, so we can definitely overclock, but we need to move those memory sticks because this is really stupid. This is so stupid. Like, don't put your memory sticks in one memory channel. You have a dual channel CPU. Use both <laughs> memory channels, damn it. So, yeah, that's kind of the first thing that. Man, and I guess since we've pulled a stick, let's see if I can identify the memory chips on it. So. It is single-sided. Oh, they put the sticker right over all the memory chips. Um, I'm pretty sure at this point I don't have a warranty, so you know what? You only live once. I'm peeling the sticker. Because um, <laughs> I do actually want to know what memory chips are on there. Hopefully, like, the funny thing is, like, a lot of the bigger brands will actually rebrand the memory chips themselves. So, like, you can get G-Skill sticks with G-Skill branded memory chips, and it's just like, well, they're not actually made by G-Skill, because G-Skill doesn't have a DRAM fab, but it does make it basically impossible to tell what you're dealing with. But, you know what, I consider that just part of the adventure, right? Like, that's actually one of the reasons why I wanted to do this, was just like, oh, I want to mess around with overclocking something where I don't know exactly like, don't already have a pretty good idea of what I'm doing, like, what I'm working with, that also isn't, like, x58 or something, right? Because <laughs> uh, I think a lot of people wouldn't be that interested. Well, like, I wanted to mess around with something di weird, different, and modern, and this kind of ticks off all the boxes for that. Also, the power supply, we've got a 20-amp, 12-volt rail, so you d really don't want to upgrade on the... Yeah, it's a 300-watt power supply. Is it even 80-plus rated? 
And not that that means anything about the build quality, it's just kind of like, is it even efficient? I'm not seeing an 80 plus rating anywhere, so I'm gonna guess it doesn't. It, it isn't. And I'm kind of starting to realize, like, I'm looking around for something to peel off the sticker with. Non-destructively. And I'm failing to notice anything on the desk. Okay, I found something. Let's see. Come on. Just wanna know what I'm dealing with. And they're Corsair. Yeah, they're just labeled Corsair. Yeah, so that's useless. <laughs> Um, and we don't even have a version number. So, yeah, that's, that's great. Okay, so I have absolutely no idea what memory sticks these are, so that's going to be a hell of an adventure. Um, and actually, I plan to do the, the overclocking of the system on a live stream. And I've just realized they have the stickers going right over the memory chips, which probably isn't great for memory thermals, but... Again, RAM really doesn't produce much in the way of heat, so that's not really a big deal. Um... The heatsink looks... So, looking at this, this looks to just be a block of aluminum fins. Which is like... It's not great. On the other hand, it does have a relatively big fan, so it shouldn't be that loud. But... Eh, we'll see. We'll see. I think the cooler is actually going to be the least of the issues. I'm, I don't plan to, like, upgrade the cooling system on this at all. Um, I plan to pull the, like, basically once I get bored of, of trying to get this to not, to, to go fast, that we'll just pull the CPU and put it into the, a better motherboard. I might even pull the dims, you know, like, depending on what's on the memory sticks. Um, but yeah, I have no idea what's on those, because they're rebranded, like, completely. Which, uh, I hope they're not mismatched. Um, that's actually, like, one concern, like... Like, at 2400, having mismatched memory sticks doesn't matter. It's 2400. Uh, like, you'd have to get some really weird combination of hardware to have it not work at 2400. But if you're overclocking and the sticks aren't the same, that can lead to major, major problems. Um, so, yeah, that'll be interesting to see. Uh, there's obviously no VRM heatsink, but that's not a big deal because we have a downdraft air cooler. So, yeah, anyway, so that's that. So other than, like, I'm, I'm still super disappointed that they, they had the memory sticks installed wrong. Like, that's just like, you lose so much performance by doing that on an APU. Like, I, I guess I might even show that with, uh, like, later on when messing around with this chip. But, like, don't run your APU single channel. You, like, because the whole, like, the whole reason we don't have APUs with massive GPUs in them is because if you tried to do that, you wouldn't have enough, me like, you just run out of memory bandwidth. And then, then it doesn't matter how many, you know, extra CUs you have when it's like, well, uh, we're waiting for memory access. Can't render the next frame until we get that data from the memory. <laughs> Still waiting for it. We're on DDR4 here, not DD, you know, not GDDR anything. So, well, actually, GDDR3 would probably be a straight downgrade, but yeah. Anyway, so there. That's that's the pre-built I'll be working with, and then we do have the SSD in there. Um, so I'm not concerned about maxing out the power supply. Two, 20 amps on on 12 volts is plenty. Um, the power supply might not be great, but, uh, again, I like, uh, the, the thing is, if it limits our overclocks, we'll find out when I just move it into my stuff, right? Which, which I guess it'll be interesting to see if, like, I get significantly different, like, CPU overclocking results. The thing is, if you change the cooling system, that, that'll drastically change. I guess I'll have to, well, I'll have to pull the heatsink anyway, so I guess I can, I could move, like, CPU and heatsink to my own test bench, and if I get better results, then it's like, oh yeah, then, then we can blame the motherboard or the power supply or both um, for whatever results end up happening on, on this. Though you could also blame the BIOS, right? Like, that's that's another factor always. 
Um, anyway, uh, yeah, that's it. That's it for this video. So there, that's that's what, <laughs> what a good chunk of the AHOC Patreon funds just went to. I, I hope people aren't disappointed with me doing this because I thought this would be fun. There will be a live stream of trying to overclock this. Um, cause yeah, like th the whole point is like, we're going to go on an adventure together, find out what memory sticks they decided to use, find out what memory chips this has. And, and if this can, like, it, it has to have the settings. It's a B550M-K, like, um, yeah, but we'll see if, if, how much it can overclock. Um, I guess I should also, like, I guess I'll be updating the BIOS on this as well, or maybe not. We'll see. We'll see. Like, there's a lot of question marks at this point, but yeah. Um, so I have a 4750G now. Uh, the thing is, I'll be pulling that 4750G and sticking it, like, like after the live stream with, with this setup right here, I'll just move the 4750G into, like, a, well, I have a Unify X from MSI. I have a B550 Master. So, yeah, you know what? I should really end this video. This video is less than 20 minutes long, so I'm, I'm naturally like, what? I need to stop, <laughs> run out of things to say, and I don't feel good about that. Anyway, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, leave any comments, questions, suggestions down in the comment section below if you'd like to support what I do here with actually hardcore overclocking. Uh, I do have a Patreon. There's a link to that down in the description below. There's also the AHOC Teespring store. Uh, where you can pick up shirts, stickers, posters, you know, the usual YouTuber merch. Uh, both of those help out immensely with running the channel, allowing me to do things like, um, well, m basically allowing me to make very bad purchasing decisions, like this one right here. Um, the thing is, the, the 4750G, if you could buy it retail, would have probably been like 300 quid on its own. So I don't really feel that bad about this, but actually probably more like 350 now that I think about, like, think about it. Like, it doesn't make sense to... Actually, wait, no, because... It doesn't make sense for this chip to be priced, like, lower than a 3700X. Right? Like, because that's, like, the chip it's most closely competing with, but it also has a GPU, so it's like... How do you price that? Anyway, um, I, I should, I'll just stop the video. So, yeah, thanks for all your support. Hopefully, you're not mega disappointed with, with me at this point. If you're wondering... Like, I'm still going to be buying into 5950X. It's just that I already knew, sort of... Like, I, I suspected that launch day we're not going to have any in stock, so I didn't really... Like, I wasn't planning to buy one launch day, because planning to buy modern hardware launch day is how you end up in a pre-order queue. So, yeah. And, and you know, it's just like, that's I don't want to do that. Anyway. There. Um, so now, now I've absolutely destroyed the length of this video for no good reason. Goodbye, I'll just, I'll just hit the stop button.